about two years ago when I just started working in Mexico City. I lived in Paris for eight years and it's like it's a very different way of living than in Mexico City. Mexico City is really big, you can't walk anywhere and you can't really have like a pedestrian life. So I wanted to keep that and so I decided to stay in this area. This is like one of the nicest areas in the city so I had to make a few choices, you know. It's a very small space for Mexican standards, it's 65 square meters. But I mean, for me it's perfect, you know, I was living in Paris in a 30 square meter, 25 square meter flat, so for eight years, so for me it's like huge. It's a really expensive neighborhood, so I couldn't spend rent for a showroom and a place to live, so I just decided to combine the both. I had simple requirements, you know, the budget, the fact that I wanted to separate the living room and the bedroom, the rest of it was just like the architect's idea. The, the first exercise was to very clearly divide the public area from the private area. The kitchen is like completely separated by a door, so you can't see it during the day. One of the things I asked them was that I needed like this big closet space this movable rack now it's full of my own clothes but you can actually take it out to the to the main room and uh, hang uh, hang all my work there the public area would function both as a living room and as the showroom for Carlos's work the only thing i couldn't have big industrial sewing machines so i had to have that part of the work done elsewhere but draping and receiving clients and things like that are perfect in this space what i wanted to have was like a, the biggest living room i could get so you can just like shut the door of the bedroom and have a showroom space or like a place you can receive clients <laughs> to define very clearly the differences between the public space and the private space, we decided to make this very evident wall that will separate the two programs. So what we made was this uh, like uh, diagonal line crossing across the whole space. Uh, on the outside, on, on this area, it's just a visual effect, but on the other side, it's actually the partition between the two spaces. You can follow this line to the kitchen, and it's the way the whole thing is, is actually traced and built. <laughs> when I moved in, the apartment had this kind of textured walls that were really popular in Mexico in the 80s, and I really hate them. So my initial idea was just to like flatten the surface. Apparently it was cheaper to actually cover everything up than flattening the surface. What we liked about these OSB panels was the texture, like, like keeping this wooden texture that will make it more warm and more homely in, in a way. These uh, flipping uh, surfaces. It, it helps to give like a sense of depth, visually at least, and it, it's really efficient, a really efficient way to, to make space look bigger. In this area, we use the upper part of it to place this shelf where Carlos could have all, all his books collection. There's no books on the back. It's a way to, to make the space look wider in a way, but also to compensate the space that we needed to sacrifice and negotiate the spaces between these two areas. To make this distortion in the in the base of the bedroom, it is then compensated on the on the volume of the of the space. And the, the idea was to create this space, and it can work both as a small working space or just a place for the TV. They kind of made the bedroom really small. It's one of the things I always like, you know, to have like a really enclosed space to sleep in and then try to live in the other areas of the apartment, otherwise you just end up spending all day in the bedroom. I'm really like obsessive with keeping everything in order, otherwise you go crazy.
in a small space. I mean, the advantage is it's really easy to clean up, and but it's also really easy to mess up. And you have nowhere to hide everything, you know? I don't like to have many things. I constantly keep throwing things away. It's a good exercise. I mean, living in a small in a small space so I don't get cluttered and This is not really common in Mexico City. You have like a separate toilet and shower. It's more European. Yeah. It's enough space. You just have to have like a really defined working space and you concentrate on your work better, I guess. When I work, I usually put the chair over there and Exactly. Right. Also, you have less distractions in a way. You can focus more on what you're doing.